this is Martin Goresco, and in this video, I would like to discuss the term autoresponder. If you watched the video uh, entitled The Squeeze Page, uh, you know that a squeeze page or a landing page is where you want your potential customer, your prospect, uh, to go and to enter some information, uh, chiefly their email, uh, which can then be put on a list that will allow you to communicate and to market to them. All right. So if we go to uh, Google, there are a lot of good auto responders, uh, and I happen to use a Weber. And uh, uh, there are others you can go to. Get Response is another one that I uh, am thinking of right off the top of my head. Uh, Mailchimp is another one. Anyway, I personally use a Weber. Uh, all of the big marketers that I personally know use a Weber. Uh, and people that use a Weber and leave eventually come back. So, commercial over. Now, uh, I'll put a link at the bottom of this video in just a moment so that you can uh, click on that link and you can go uh, and set up an Aweber account if you want. It's $1 for the first month and then $19 a month uh, after that. It's fantastic. Uh, and so this is the front page of Aweber. And I'm going to go ahead now. I've already logged in on another tab, so let me switch over. This is one of my lists. I have You can make up as many lists as you want on your Aweber account. This is one of mine. I have 284 subscribers on this particular list. All of these people have entered their email at some point or another on one of my squeeze pages for this particular offer. And so I have them and I can tell if they're subscribed. There's one that's unsubscribed. Uh, and it allows me to go through uh, this list. And this is a list that I entitled Martin. I put a dash in there. And like I say, I have a dozen or more of these lists, just depending on which offer uh, I am uh, presenting because, and the reason that's important is because if someone opts in for some information on a product you're selling and then you start another business, you want to create a new list for that other business because those people that you had for that product didn't opt in for your other business. So you want to kind of, you want to be ethical and, and you want to uh, have a list, a separate list. And if you get permission, uh, from subscribers to put them on another list, then obviously that's good, and I've done that before. So I have some subscribers that are on three or four of my list, and that's perfectly okay. I just don't want to confuse my list with cross-marketing. All right, so one of the things uh, that I do with this Martin list, I have a follow-up series. I have about 30-something emails in my follow-up series. These go out automatically the first one is sent immediately, tells them how to log in. Then I have one that goes out one day afterwards. Some go out two days afterwards, but usually it's one or two days apart. Uh, and then I have up to, uh, well, I actually have over 30 emails in this particular uh, list. Now, there are other lists that I have that I only have one or two uh, follow-up series that are automatic. But uh, for all of my list, I use what is called a broadcast and the broadcast, uh, I can send it to this list or I can send it to any of my other lists uh, that I want. I can pick and choose. I can even segment a list. Let's say that I only want to send an email to those people who opened my last three emails. Well, I can actually search that out and create what's called a segment and just send something to them because if they've opened my last three emails, they're probably a little bit more inclined to uh, accept the offer that I'm, I'm pitching. So if I go in here and I can create a broadcast, all I have to do is give it a title, type my message, and then I click send, and then I automatically send that to 200 and uh, whatever the number was there on this particular list. So I can insert my subject. You can put uh, an article in here. You can add an image, uh, buttons, all kinds of things. Uh, but this is what an autoresponder is. And I suggest that if you don't have an autoresponder, your next step is to go to Aweber and you need to get an autoresponder immediately. The link is below. So click there, sign up, and uh, they even have tutorials on their website that will take you through all the uh, how-tos of getting started with your first uh, follow-up. But you definitely have to have an autoresponder so that you can do something with those e emails that you've used, uh, or that you've captured, I should say, on your squeeze page. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.